This is the Corsair K70 RGB Rapid Fire Mechanical Keyboard. Equipped with RGB backlighting, full key rollover and 100% anti-ghosting technology, this boasts a very impressive spec sheet. But Rapid Fire also features the all new Cherry MX Speed Switch and aims to be the ultimate gaming keyboard. So is it? Over the last 10 days, I found out. Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video in the new studio. Today we're looking at the Corsair K70 RGB Rapid Fire and it's got that Rapid Fire name because it's part of a whole new range of keyboards that features a brand new switch. And this switch is the Cherry MX Speed and it's called Speed because it's meant to be faster, it's got a lower activation force and thus it should be quicker and easier to quickly activate keys when you need to. So whether that's typing or gaming, this keyboard in theory should be better than its Cherry MX Reds. But is it any good? Well, I've been testing it over the last few weeks and this is what I've found. Well, starting with the design, it's basically the same as the K70, not too much has changed here. It's a full size keyboard with a metal body and the whole thing is very, very premium. Let's get that straight. It's a very nice, fairly heavy keyboard that looks and feels really nice to touch. It's got some plastic use, so the sides of it are plastic and the detachable keyboard rest that attaches very easily and detaches very easily is also a sort of plastic, but otherwise it's a sort of aluminum finish and it's really nice and feels really premium. The keys themselves, they now have bigger fonts on them, so this has two benefits. The main one, the obvious one, is that it's easier to read the keys, but also because it's an RGB backlit keyboard, you now get more light coming through the keys themselves, thus making it look nicer and easier to read. You've got the same media keys as the K70 as well, and these are some of the best in the business. You've got a volume roller that rolls up and down, so it's a sort of analog-ish way of actually controlling the volume. Very nice to use, you've got a mute button and then you've also got your classic play, pause, stop and previous and next buttons. But you've also got a Windows key lock on top and the lighting button and this cycles through three brightnesses as well as off. So you've got a wide array of keys here but if you actually look at the bottom bit of the keyboard, so the underside of the keyboard, you'll find that you have the stand and this is adjustable to sort of three different ways. You can have none on, you can have the top or the bottom two on or you can have them all on and so this will change the orientation of the keyboard. If you look at the sort of top bit of the keyboard, so the back of the keyboard, you've actually now got a USB pass-through. So this is a USB 2.0 port and if you want to connect something, uh, well you have no idea what you'd want to connect, but if you want to connect a USB 2.0 device, uh, you can do this. The cable itself comes braided and it's very nice, feels very premium and looks good, but you have two USB cables. So if you have a computer that doesn't have USB 3.0, you need to plug both of these in. But if you do have a USB 3 port, then you just plug the one with the keyboard logo into your computer. So while the overall design stays basically the same as the Corsair K70, one thing is very different about this keyboard, and that is underneath every single key, you'll find an all new switch, the Cherry MX Speed. This switch uses a silver stem, and the key thing here is that the activation distance, so the actual distance it takes to activate that key, becomes reduced from 2mm on a Cherry MX Red switch to 1.2mm on the new Cherry MX Speed. And the effect is definitely noticeable, it really is. The keys feel a bit firmer and indeed feel quicker to press. This should help in both typing and gaming scenarios, but otherwise it's basically the same as a Cherry MX Red. So you don't get any tactile feedback, which is what a lot of people like when they're typing. And the volume is still fairly quiet compared with something like a blue. So if you've been using a red for a while, while you will notice a difference, it is kind of, if you like, in the same family of Switch. It's definitely meant for gaming. And so then, we probably should talk about games. How did it get on? Well, my gaming was done with both Battlefield 4, Call of Duty, and Mass Effect 2. And in short, it's very, very good. The keyboard is very nice to use and the new switch is noticeably different to the Cherry MX Red. Yes, it's still in the same family, but the keys feel snappy, very snappy, and allow very quick reactions. So if you're someone that really likes to hammer their keyboard, I think you're gonna get on really nicely here. But having said that, I wouldn't say it necessarily made me a better player. Very few things do, 
main ones being a really nice mouse and a high refresh rate monitor, and I got nowhere the same effect that I did by switching keyboard than I did by switching to uh, one of those other two things. And I would happily go back to the normal K70 without any fuss at all. But the difference is definitely noticeable, and the K70 is preferred. Uh, the K70 Rapid Fire, I should say. It's just a nice keyboard to use, it's very enjoyable, and it just feels less spongy, and ultimately, while it's not a game changer, it is a very, very nice keyboard to use for gaming. But gaming, of course, is only half the story. What is this thing like to type on? And it's really, really nice. And it is, again, following the same pattern as gaming, better than the K70. I find that it's nicer to type on, and I can't really explain why, but I'm making fewer mistakes as well. I'm assuming that this is down to the switch, but I don't really have any evidence to back that statement up. But one thing I definitely can say is that I'm finding that I'm typing a little bit quicker with the new speed switch, and I guess this has to be due to that lower activation force. And the sort of feeling you get when you're typing is that the keys almost feel a little bit quicker to press and ping back up, and the overall effect is that you can type a bit quicker, and even if you're making mistakes, of course, you can quickly backspace and uh, erase your mistakes. And overall, I would say that it's a really, really nice keyboard to type on. Obviously, a lot of people will still prefer something like a blue switch, which is renowned for its typing finesse because you get that tactile feedback. But as an overall gaming slash typing package, it's really, really nice and it compares well with some of the other keyboards as well. In terms of gaming, I would say this is right up there and could well dethrone, in my opinion, uh, the CM Storm Quickfire TK that is currently my favorite keyboard. And this is the thing I think that is going to live on my desk. It really is uh, really nice to type on and to game on. Because this is an RGB keyboard, you can customize the lighting to a wide array of effects. And it works really well, and it all is done through the Q software. And you can even use this to sync lighting across all your Corsair RGB peripherals as well if you own other products. And the software has matured really well. It wasn't so great when it first came out, but it's really easy to use and you only really need to go in it once or twice or of course whenever you want to change those effects. You can also store the effects as well on the keyboard itself. So if you're traveling between computers then in theory you can change it so that it travels with you. But in all honesty I've tried to do this. I've never really found uh, that it's been that successful but I'm probably just doing it wrong. But it's definitely something to note. I did notice that the keyboard also looks a fair amount better than the K70. Now this is mainly because the larger fonts show more light through the keys, but the keys also seem maybe slightly less reflective, and you don't get as much RGB separation when using whiter colours. So the way to describe this is if you look sort of above the keyboard, you will see where the light comes from the LEDs, so the RGB LEDs. And what used to happen is that if you went for a whiter colour, rather than seeing white, you kind of just saw the different colours in a sort of rainbow pattern. But that is significantly reduced on this keyboard, and overall I would say that it's a much better RGB keyboard than the old K70 RGB. And so then, that is the Corsair K70 RGB Rapid Fire. It's now conclusion time. Should you buy it? Well, the positives are that it's a very, very premium keyboard with a really nice body that sits nicely on your desk and especially with that RGB lighting, looks amazing. It's also got bigger font keys than you found on the K70 and you get less light leak with those RGBs as well as that USB pass-through port that you'll find on the top that a lot of people will have missed from keyboards of old. But the main thing is that you've got those really nice new Cherry MX speed switch. And while it's not a game changer, it's nicer to use and provides a more enjoyable typing and gaming experience than Cherry MX Red, at least from what I've found so far. And ultimately, it is the best keyboard I've ever used. Yes, if I was just doing typing, I would probably want to go for a blue switched keyboard, but as an all-in-one package, it really doesn't get that much better than this. And if there are better keyboards out there, I haven't yet tried them. But downsides there is a big one and that is that this thing is very very expensive and I don't think it would be fair for me to give this any award other than the top performer award 
Because yes, this is my favorite keyboard. This is the keyboard I'm going to be using, but 150 pounds, it just doesn't represent great value for money. And if you want a mechanical keyboard, there are much cheaper options out there that offer similar levels of performance. And unless you're really dead set on that RGB lighting, why not just go for the normal K70 rapid fire? Yes, you don't get the RGB, but you still get backlit keys. You can still change the effects and you're saving about 30 to 40 pounds. And the smart money for me would be for people to look at that. But yes, it's a fantastic keyboard. And ultimately, if you do have this sort of money to spend on a keyboard, I really don't think you're gonna be disappointed with this one. Massive thank you for you guys for watching this video. And of course, as always, a massive thank you to Corsair for sponsoring this channel, as well as sending the review sample for this video. If you like this video, then please hit that like button because it lets other people know it's a video worth watching. Likewise, if it wasn't, hit that dislike button. But for more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and go and check out other videos on the channel. And then you can find out similar things on similar products. If you want to hear more things about this particular product and you have any questions, comment section is down below. Feel free to leave a comment and ask me any questions or do that on social media. So that's Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. It's all PC centric. So a massive thank you to you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think of this sort of hybrid format. So it's with filming, but it's also with mainly B-roll. Let me know what you thought of this because we're still trying to find that happy medium. So please do let me know what you thought. A massive thank you once again for you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.